Alright, if you're just joining us and you didn't watch the first part, that's fine. All we did was we talked about what the compile steps and tools were. So, with the Valve Batch Compiler tool, you can do the full, the fast one. But if you're looking to cut compile times down, there's a couple of things that you need to do while you map. Like, for this rubble here, it's just funk detail with some models. And if you look in the view here, you can see that it's just four pieces. Now, when I made this, I just took the clipping tool and I clipped the crap out of it. But that left off-grid vertex points. So, every time you make something that's not a square, you need to make sure that your vertex points are on grid. So, to do this, you just select the vertex edit tool, and you just zoom in on the grid, and you use, um left bracket to make the grid as small as possible then I just grab the point and I move it in a circle and then I put it as close back to its original spot as possible and you want to do this whenever you create a funky looking brush this will help increase your compile times a lot and no one will know if you moved it one segment or not so you just gotta keep that in mind while you map the other thing is is funk detail I talked a little bit about this in the optimization in the optimization tutorial and this is the main thing that you will do to optimize your map. All these pillars that you see here are funk detail. They are big, yes, but they can't really block your view. Even when you walk right up to them, you can still see out of the sides a little bit. So making these a funk brush is, I mean, a world brush is completely pointless. So anything of this nature, you would want to make a funk detail. This will cut down your visibility compile times and overall make your map run better. And also little stuff like this, like the framing on a window or the slide track on a door just make sure that you think about what you're gonna funk detail as you map it's a very simple way to cut down on the compile time and if you want to do a fast compile just hit this up with fast fast make sure HDR is off now there's one thing that everyone sees but they don't really know what it does is this red box that I have here and they see these two little caution things. This is called the cordon bounds tool. What this cordon bounds tool does is it cuts off your map and only has what's inside of it. Inside tools, you can click options and there's cordon texture. If you've set this up manually before, you may be, what's cordon texture? Just leave it as tools skybox because it just puts the skybox around your map and it looks normal. So to use the cordon tool, you just select the one with the grab points and now you'll see you have this box pane. And if you have cordon tools enabled, you'll notice that your map disappears if you click somewhere else. You need to draw the box around approximately where your map is, or just turn it off and make the box without cordon tools being on. Like, say I just want my armory here for my jailbreak map. You just come over and select. I usually do a little bit larger than the room I'm trying to cordon off. And then you want to go in the other views and make sure what you have is correct. Then you click the enable cordon tools and you'll see that it just cut everything off that's not in this room. Any brush that's even touching the cordon tool will still be rendered. It's the only way that they could make this work. But it's a very nice tool to have if you're working in a small enclosed area and you just want to see how something looks. I recommend that you learn how to use this and you use it frequent and as many times as possible during making a map. It'll take your test compile from 4 minutes to like 20 seconds because you're only compiling a small area. So, that was a small part of how to make your map run faster. If you've ever watched 3 Clicks Philip, he has an, a good tutorial which pretty much goes over the same thing. He just says to run it on fast. I'm going to go into a little more detail on the next one with the Valve Batch Compiler tool. If you've loaded this up and you look at this, you'll see VMPI. You'll be like, what's VMPI? Stick around for the next tutorial. This is a very important thing to do if you want to cut down your compile times.